Well, one of the uh, interesting things about Grace is that unlike so many other artists, she actually never drew or painted, never seemed to have any talent for those things as a child. And it's interesting that there's um, one great artist who was sort of a long distance mentor of hers, Henri Matisse, who also never drew or painted anything until he was almost 20. But what Grace grew up in suburban uh, New Jersey, and she was very, very active in extracurricular activities, particularly the drama club. She had a mentor there who was very important to her because she had a very bad relationship with her mother and this woman was sort of a stand-in. But more than that, the whole idea of theatricality was something that imbued Grace's art. Um, she loved, she herself was larger than life and she loved larger than life characters. And she also had a fascination with, with masks and with um, not just um, actual masks, but the sort of masking that people do to hide their interior selves. And so uh, one of her early paintings, uh, the Persian jacket, which was the first one to be purchased by the Museum of Modern Art, it's a figure in a chair and the face is really a mask. It's very strange. It's, it's hard to come to terms with. You almost don't know if it's male or female. Another painting of hers is called The Masker, and it's a portrait of her friend, the poet Frank O'Hara. It was he who taught her about, about masking in the gay world, which was something to do with um, how you really couldn't show your true colors to most people in those, in those years. Um, and she also had a fascination with gesture, although oddly enough, she was a very poor painter of hands. When she was a middle-aged woman, which was when I met her, she came out to California for a show, she sat there on her balcony and she said, there are no gods, there are no goddesses, there is nothing to paint. Uh, so she herself, you see, was so theatrical. But she, um, her, the gods and goddesses that she sort of found were, um, empresses and, and queens. She did a series of those based on a paper doll book of all things. And also um, movie stars based on another paper doll book. And so she painted a, a painting of Marilyn Monroe w in which she atomized the face, uh, Marilyn's face, so that there are lips, there's a curl of blonde hair, and there's one blue eye. And the other blue eye is part of a cleat light so um, all of this, I think, really goes back to this early interest in theater.